the thing. When we came out with Spatial Audio Calibration Toolkit, it was on physical disk and lossless, and it costs a lot of money. Chana described earlier that we had to live do unboxing. Stuff, just, just, uh, you know, just the software to even mux the two things. Very expensive stuff, and to get all this made. And so, yeah, we had to charge what we had to charge in order for it to be viable for us to even continue doing. And so that this <laughs> for hundred bucks, right? Physical and the digital version is also hundred dollars. And a lot of the, the, a lot of people are saying, man. It's too much. Like I, I want, I want it, but it's just too much money. Right. So they wanted a less expensive version. I just kept saying, stay tuned, stay tuned. Well, it's been like, I don't know, open, like almost a it's year, almost, or something a year. Like that. Yeah, almost yeah. a year. And so I'm, I'm sure people are tired of staying tuned and they want to know what's up. Right. And uh, so we made something, we made something and what it is, Oh, Marv guessed it. Now, should we get we should hook up Marv with something, huh? Marv should get it. Ah, oh, there it is. Lossy dish. Yeah. So, the problem with the lossless version is it's it, it only plays in certain devices. <laughs> it's too lossless. It's just too it's good. Too, it's <laughs> too good. <laughs> right? You have to have a special Blu-ray player if you wanted to play the digital files. Yeah. Right? Only the Nvidia Shield really could play the the lossy ones or lossless ones. So uh, we decided, hey, we can make a we can make a lossy version, and that would still work for a lot of the tests that we do, and we can make it less expensive. So this, um, what we came up with, do we have a picture? Dude, have a picture? I'm trying to log VHS in. <laughs> People have a VHS version, yeah. Yeah. Um, your password here, Joe. Let's see. No, I was no, no, that's not it. I can't. Here. Where's my? I don't. I can't get it. I I can't get in, Joe. I I okay, I'm, on, okay. I'm on this silly PC. I need my Mac. That's okay. Everything saved. Yeah. Um. So so, so so one of one of the big things about doing a lossy version is how are we going to deliver it to you, our beautiful, amazing viewers? Uh. And so I tried. Joe tried. Angela tried to figure out if we can get it on Amazon so that we could. You guys could just use Amazon Prime Video. There is actually a way to do all this. Um, like, shoot, I can put all of my YouTube video. <gasps> I can put all my YouTube videos on Amazon Prime and charge for them. It's very interesting. I just thought of that. <laughs> so look, you can actually do all this stuff. So um, how do we get it to you? And how, how do we make it more accessible to the viewers? So... After a whole bunch of testing things out, Joe found something very interesting. Um, now, as far as the Marv, you were saying, uh, when Joe and I first talked about this, this shit was done in like April. We've mm -hmm. had, it. we've been sitting on it. It's been marinating, marinating. Yeah, mm -hmm. right. You get to see a picture. How about this? Sat go. There it is. So it's a spatial audio toolkit. We didn't want to say it's a light version, but it's kind of it's a little bit of a light version. It's a uh, a lot of the same tracks minus the like more advanced stuff. Like so, in our spatial audio calibration toolkit, we had some stuff that was specific for maybe like more like a calibrator who's going to use test tones with REW. So this the doesn't have all of those. And all that's not there. Um, also, right. in the main disc that I just unboxed live, because that's awesome. Uh, we go to 916 on here. Sat go maxes out at 714. Okay. Mm -hmm. So um, how many files? 39, what? 40? Uh, I think it's... Uh, let's see here. Uh, 39 tracks. The original has 160. Yeah, 160 versus... Um, so it, this is delivered 40, 39. in uh, Dolby Digital Plus. Right? So pretty much any device that can play Dolby Digital Plus, which is pretty much everything... You know, a cheap $30 streaming device, Chromecast, something like that can play this. Um, so this is using uh, uh, an app called Artist Connection. So there you can download that. As long as you can download that, then you you can purchase this. So it's going to, what are we What are we selling this for? 69 bucks? Yeah. 69 bucks? Yeah, so 69 bucks. So it's going to be less expensive. And you should be able to play it on pretty much... Anything, Anything that that's can... Android. 
So your NVIDIA Shield. So you, what you have to do, can you show them the Artist Connection page that they would see? Uh, I have to, I yeah. have to get that. Let me see. I know. Like, I, don't, I can't show you. Forgot uh, password. You can't? Okay. No, no, I can. One second. Go ahead. You keep talking. Um, okay. So I'll, basically, I'll... the idea is we wanted to make it uh, digital. So um, A, we didn't have to like, you know, wait on physical media to get produced and all that kind of stuff. Actually, Rev, I I was like 68 and I owe you one. Okay. Um, sorry, all kidding aside. Um, the Artist Connection app you would download and then you would look for, I mean, we'd give you like the direct link once you purchase or I, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, and um, it would take you to uh, Spatial Group is the artist. And then one of our albums is, is Sat Go. And uh, you purchase... For $69 and you have access um, the, and it will stream through the Artist Connection app on a, um, what is it called? Kind of device? Android device. Mm -hmm. um, well, you like know, I've Nvidia actually Shield. tested I've actually tested it on uh, Apple TV in a different way, not using this oh, yeah. app. And it, okay. Dolby Digital, it works. It's just this app needs to go on there. So anyway, yeah. it's possible. Definitely possible. Um it's so not perfect. We we know. I mean, it's 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 like one of those things where we thought about creating an app and we'd have to make sure it works on at least Android, Roku, and and TV OS. Mm -hmm. And then we need to make sure that app plays back in Atmos on all three devices and all that kind of stuff. So that was kind of kind of rough. But through Artist Connection on app on the Android platform, it will. Mm -hmm. playing Atmos on your system. So huge breakthroughs. This has all been happening, uh, you know, behind the scenes throughout of what, since like what May or something, right? So I guess I could share yeah. this. Let's see here. Uh, share. So let's see. Is this the right one? Yeah. Looks something like this. So when you go to it, you'll see all the tracks here. Right. So you'll see spatial group. You'll see our album there. And you'll be able to play this from pretty much any device, which is kind of cool. Well, any Android device. Any Android device. Android, yeah. you got to say that, right? Uh, 69, Fred. $69. Yeah. So you kind of, you get the idea. Yeah. You can kind of see it playing down here. Yep. Um, so, yeah, that's it. That's what, that's what we got going on. Um, I think a little bit of a side thing. So you, I guess we'll start posting links to how they can, how they can purchase that. Um, what else? The other thing is we are no magic beans. We're asking about Oro 3D. Oh. Waiting for magic beans. Well, this is related to magic beans actually. So magic beans requires certain test tones, and so I kind of felt weird about telling somebody that they have to, uh, you know, buy this hundred dollar disc in order to be able to use the software. Like, it starts to add up, right? And yeah, because so, they got to buy a microphone, mm -hmm. you know, for their uh, calibrated mic. So that's another... Right. I think the U-Mic 1 is going for 80 bucks now. The U-Mic? Um, U-Mic 1 is going for $80, $79. Was it in 100 earlier? Uh, I don't know. They There's always shipping. Like, Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, okay, then, got it, got it. Like, anyway. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we will... What should we do for the... For the folks who've already purchased the full version, what should we do? Maybe hook them up. I don't know. We'll no. figure that out in Discord. Um, yeah. But also, people were asking about you know test tones for for Oro 3D. Now, I don't think it. I don't know if it makes sense to redo a, the whole disc for Oro 3D. Why? Because Oro 3D really just adds center height and voice of God. Those are the two channels that Atmos does not have out of all of them. And so um, we usually say Oro 3D, we like it for upmixing. We're not saying, hey, we love the native format. You know, everything should be in Oro 3D native form. No, no, we're saying we like the upmixer, in which case you don't really, we're not using those, like, you know, we're not sending discrete content to those anyway. Mm -hmm. right? So I don't know that I'd want to do that, but we do want to be able to play test tones to the center height and the voice of God for the purpose of Magic level means. matching and yeah. level matching stuff like that. So if you wanted to do that, right? Even something as simple as level matching, unless you can play the right tones to those speakers, you can't really do it. 
you could, you'd have to unplug and, you know, it'd be some weird way. So we've come up with a way also using artist connection to be able to play test tones to the center height and the voice of God. So in Oro 3D native format. And uh, we have a pack called the Periodic Pink Noise Pack. PPP. PPP. Yeah. Who's down with PPP? Yeah, you know me. Uh. Um, so let's see. I have it right here. Yeah, you can show this. So share. So boom, the Periodic Pink Noise Pack. Right. So um, I think what we'll probably do is we'll definitely include this for the people who have purchased the physical disc and the digital download. So if they needed to <clears> play, <throat> you know, periodic pink noise to the center height or voice of God, they'll be able to. And for Magic Beans customers, we'll make sure that they have complimentary access to that so that they can play test tones without having to buy the other stuff. So thanks to Spatial Group, that's that's thanks to you, Chana, for saying that's okay. Oh. All right. Yeah. <laughs> which which one that, is it? that it's okay to do. Uh, no, it's all but yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Pink noise. Periodic hey, dude, pink noise. What are you talking about, dude? Spatial group is us, bro. What, what are you right? talking about? It's not me. Yeah. yeah. You think so this have... shit would have existed with uh, without you? I'd just be like recording be. myself farting on a snare drum. That's <laughs> 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 the computer can't play these uh, Oro 3D ones. It doesn't know what to do with the format. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. It's confusing. Yeah, so um, we have yeah. pink noise for every speaker in a 916, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, front wide, middle height. Yep. A along with the Oro 3D uh, stuff for Voice of God, mm -hmm. center height. Yeah. So uh, Magic Beans is very close, very, very close to the point where I have to get all this stuff together. So for the people who are going to beta test, or are you know they're they're like ready to throw their money they're like dude where is the app they're they're waiting to buy it i still need to make sure that you guys have all the stuff that you need so providing pink noise even something as simple as that you know it's going to yeah. be tough to do because i can give it to you as a download all right but where is that going to play is it going to play on everything no i don't know no. so we need to make sure it works everywhere that's it. Yeah. Yeah. That's and like having like a Blu-ray, making a Blu-ray just for pink noise. It's, 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 I mean, you, you you would think. I, I know there was some other calibration disc that was recently released that had Atmos stuff on there, but they didn't have any pink noise on there. Yeah. For like, for like every channel. So, yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, how much is Magic Beans? I'm looking at... Um... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, wow. I know. How Sorry. I think I'm looking at maybe doing um, like a basic version, not the basic version, just a normal version is going to be somewhere around like 150 bucks. I think I've asked people like, is that too much? And they're like, oh, that's, that's nothing. Almost every person that I asked, they're like, oh, that's nothing. All right. So yeah, for what you get, uh, I think it's, it's definitely worth it. We're going to include the, the pink noise that you'll be able to use. And uh, we've even made it so that you can use, the 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 mic that comes with a Denon and Marantz. We've made a special mm -hmm. calibration file. So if you don't have a U mic, it's kind of like it's not the best, right? But if you want to use it, you could. You could. You could. You still you should you should still get a U mic, but yeah. Yeah. And you never you so, never know. You never know. The the Kaleidoscape edition could cost thousands of dollars. <laughs> right? Because I mean if you can afford a Kaleidoscape, hey, yeah, just, just just think of it as a tip. You're right, right. Um, <laughs> the, the the bride's the bride uh, on the wedding. The bride's dad uh, comes by and he's like, "Do you want to put out a tip jar?" I'm like, "No." He's like, "Why not? Are you sure?" I'm like, "No, that's I just charge a few thousand dollars more." That's, that's I, yeah, I got. I don't, I got I don't need a tip. Need <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. Um, uh, and, and BB yeah. photo, you were almost right. And wait, there's more. If you you, you get a whole bunch of other stuff for free. <laughs> uh, let's see. So, and also you'll have access to our uh, our Discord group. Our Discord and Sunny Skies. Our, yeah. Mike, J he says the Discord group is packed with great information constantly. Yes. Uh, Joe's in there a lot. I pop in from time to time. Um, Reverend Slim is in there. Like always, just fighting with Joe. Dropping knowledge. Joe's wrong. <laughs> this is what he's saying all the time. No, I'm we kidding, agree on kidding, like kidding. 99% of things. Yeah. Um, um, I bought the bro. digital SACT. That will work, right? 
Yeah, and then in case you have Center Height or Voice of God, then uh, we'll send you the uh, the updated Pink Noise Pack so you yeah. can have access to those. See, we take care of our people. Of course. Uh, yeah, right? Make sure to check out our audio-only version of the podcast at anchor.fm forward slash daily hi-fi or just go to your favorite podcasting service and search for Daily Hi-Fi. Mm-hmm.